So today we're going to focus on positive energy and we're going to focus a little bit on body scanning at the end of the class, just to get a little bit more embodied and less in our minds, which is really great for stress relief. And uh, part of it is just that I'm really into yoga nidra right now. So I'm, I'm sprinkling, sprinkling a little bit um, of it in for you. So let's begin in a seated position. You're welcome to be in a chair or on the floor. I'm gonna start on the floor just cause I wanna be as close to you as possible, but then I'll be using my chair behind me. So if you're sitting in the chair, just come forward towards the front of the chair so that your spine is long and you're not leaning back in the chair. You can sit up nice and tall and let your ankle bones be underneath your knees. And feet are flat on the floor. And then you can let the palms of the hands rest facing down on the legs. And just bow the chin ever so slightly so that you become a little bit more uh, in tune with this body in this moment. And you can close the eyes. And notice any sounds you might be aware of in your space this morning. Notice any feelings that might be present. You might notice the feeling of the chin bowing or the sitting bones in the chair, the feet touching the earth. Noticing any smells. any tastes. And becoming aware of the play of light behind the eyelids. Or if you're looking at one spot, noticing what you see. And let's begin to deepen our natural breath. So you might be aware of a natural breath washing in and out, always breathing. And then I'd like you to just exaggerate this breath. So the next time that you inhale, can you continue a little bit longer bringing in the air through the nostrils? And then as you exhale, can you slow the exhale down so that your inhales and exhales are a little bit deeper and a little bit longer each time. And let your belly relax as you breathe so that when you inhale, you can really access the belly and the rib cage and the chest a little bit. And as you exhale, they can all be a part of relaxation. And let's continue to breathe this way as we create a positive affirmation. So the Sanskrit word for this is called sankalpa, S-A-N-K-A-L-P-A, -A -A, sankalpa. And a sankalpa is a positive I am affirmation. So a couple examples that you could use today are, I am happy, or I am healthy, I am at peace. I am in harmony. Anything at all, um, but just don't make it negative. So don't say something like, I am not stressed, like that doesn't help. It would be more like, I am at peace or I am calm. 
So thinking of something positive for yourself, and you're welcome to use any of the ones that I offered, or you can choose a different word for yourself, just picking one. And then stick with it and repeat that silently to yourself. Repeat your sankalpa to yourself. And you can begin to breathe with this. Like inhaling, you repeat it once. Exhaling, you repeat it again. And continue this, repeating your sankalpa with your breath as you begin to roll the shoulders back and down. Keep the shoulders gently back and down and begin to circle the head. And as these circles get bigger, you can inhale as the head comes towards the back, lengthening up. And exhale as the chin comes down. The next time the chin comes down, smoothly reverse the direction. And bring the head to center. And allow yourself to fold forward, bring the hands to the knees and folding, or letting the hands sweep all the way down to the feet and letting the head go. Notice your breath accessing the back side of your body, the backs of the ribs. On an inhale, gazing forward. And exhale, come the rest of the way up. Hands come to the knees. And begin to circle the belly around. Inhaling as you come forward, exhaling as you come back. Good, and you're welcome to pick one spot to gaze, or you can close the eyes. And 
Notice all that you're feeling here, this massage for the belly and the spine. This massage of the sitting bones against the chair. Maybe the weight is shifting in the hands and the feet. Let me go the other way. This is so wonderful for digestion. So giving back to all of these internal organs that are constantly working for us. And when we have good digestion, we have strong immunity. So digestion and the immune system are hand in hand, they work together. Beautiful, two more circles. And make this next one a little bit slower. Good, and pause as you reach the heart forward and you glide the shoulders back. And reach your hands behind you. You can reach them back like airplane wings or interlace them behind you and the chair might be in the way. Just do what feels right and then start to fold with it. So you're either here like this or you're reaching back as you fold. And inhale, rising back up. Good, exhale, sitting up tall, open your feet wide and you might have to shift back in the chair a little bit. Let's open the sides of the body and the inner thigh and hip area. So first let's start with a couple windmills. You can reach one arm up and over and then pass through center and reach the other arm up. Good. So inhaling to center, exhaling as you open to the side, inhaling to center, and exhale as you open to the other side. And your positive I am mantra might still be with you or it might have fallen away. And don't worry, we'll come back to it. You can always come back to it now for a couple rounds. Good, this time stay on the side, reaching. Let the shoulder that's underneath you, that's resting, let it come down. Good, and start to reach your fingertips forward towards the knee. Yeah, and then go the opposite, reach them up towards the sky and back. And again, forward towards me. Good, and up and back. And to the side as far as they'll go. And come up through center, other side. Let that shoulder that's underneath you drop down. Breathing here. And take these fingers that are in the air and start to reach them forward towards me. And reach them up and back. Your heart is opening up towards the sky. And one more time, forward towards me. Up and back. And over to the side as far as they will comfortably go. Beautiful, reach it up to center. Ah. 
You might feel a little lighter through the upper body. Let your elbows stick out as your fingers curl in to the inner knee and begin to tilt forward like you're reaching back through your sitting bones and you're reaching your heart forward. Now notice how your back is doing a lot of work to hold you up and begin to tuck your front rib cage ever so slightly, engaging your belly. Good, and let's start to go side to side. You're gonna feel this in the inner hip and in the inner thigh, maybe in the oblique area. Let's inhale to the left, exhale to the right. Mm -hmm. Good. This one always feels a little bit sassy. Good, and now get the shoulders into it and like the chin, like make it a little bit more sassy. Yeah, you're just getting into those nooks and crannies. Finding new places. Okay, now we're gonna dip down through center. And then as you come to the left, your heart is going to face the left. You can gaze to the left and then dip down through center and go to the other side. Good. So you should feel a little twist here. You're twisting to the side and lengthening and then you're dipping down through center like a fold. Beautiful, when you're ready, pause at center. It's like you're pressing the knees away from each other with your hands a little bit and you're lengthening your spine forward out of the hips. Breathe. Stay here, you can drop the head or you can bring the hands down to the floor. Keep breathing, let the head go. Can you actually send your breath into the places that are feeling this? Like you're opening up those places that are feeling this pose. Remember, we're never creating pain in yoga, so you should always be comfortable. If you're not comfortable, back out a little bit. On an inhale, gaze it forward. Bring the hands back to the knees. Exhale here. Inhale the rest of the way up. Exhale with a sigh. Good. Okay, I know this isn't everyone's favorite, so we'll just do one on each side, but I'd like you to shift so that your right thigh is on the chair and your left knee is hanging down. And you might have to sit a little bit closer to the front. Good, and just kind of wiggle this left knee around. You can hold on to the back of the chair with your right hand. Good, so my left toes are on the ground. I'm just going like this, yeah. So you might feel the psoas opening, top of the thigh opening. Good, and then you can relax right here. You can let the top of the foot rest or relax like this. Or if it's comfortable, reach this left foot back in a lunge. Okay, so I don't care what you choose here or here. Either way, we're going to twist. Bring the hands to the back of the chair, lengthen your spine to get taller and twist to the right towards the chair. Shoulders glide down the back. 
Keep breathing. Good. Nice shoulders, everyone. I was coming over to the screen to be judgmental and be like, you're going to drop those more, but they look good. Um, some of you might be able to get a little bit taller. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take another breath there. Send your breath down into the belly, down into the pelvis even. And let's begin to unwind. And let's do the other side, walking the feet in the other direction, holding onto the back of your chair with your back hand and just start by circling this right knee that's hanging in front. So what's happening here is you're also circling the hip and maybe the toes. It's natural to forget your breath. If you have, just come back to it. Good, and now when you're ready, you can just relax the top of the foot on the floor, let the knee hang. Or you can curl the toes under like this. Or you can reach those right toes back, trying to straighten the knee in a lunge. Again, it doesn't matter which one you choose, just choose one that works for you. And then we're going to twist, bringing both hands to the back of the chair, maybe get a little bit taller. And then as you twist the back of the chair, let those shoulders sink and drop a little bit more. Send your breath down into the belly, down into the bowl of the pelvis. Beautiful. And some of you might be able to drop that right shoulder ever so slightly more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then see if you can get a little bit taller for these last couple breaths. And let's unwind. Ah, good job, releasing the legs to center. We'll come into a couple of sun salutations in the chair and then we'll do them standing. So with both feet on the ground, your palms can face forward in a seated mountain. As you inhale, begin to sweep the arms out and up like you're gathering energy, reaching up. Palms touch, exhale, begin to fold, bringing the palms down in front of you. Inhale, gazing forward, flat back. Exhale, folding, let your head hang, let your back even round a little bit. Inhale, reaching out and up. Come like three quarters of the way up. So you're about at this angle and let your arms come into cactus, bending at the elbows. Good, exhale here. This is called Uktasana, like we're sitting down in a, in a chair, but in when we're standing, it'll be an imaginary chair. Good, inhale the rest of the way up. Extended mountain, palms touch. Exhale, arms release. Coming back to where we started. Let's do this again. Inhale, reaching out and up. Palms touch, exhale, fold as you bring the palms all the way down. 
Inhale, flat back, gazing forward. Exhale, surrender, folding. Inhale, reaching the arms out in cactus, coming up three quarters. Exhale here, press into the feet a little bit, engaging the legs. Inhale the rest of the way up, palms touch. Exhale, mountain. Moving with your breath, inhale, reach it up. Palms touch, exhale, bowing. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, folding. Inhale, cactus, three quarters of the way up. Exhale, press into those feet. Inhale, the rest of the way up, palms touch. Exhale, mountain. Let's come to standing. Inhale, lean it forward. Exhale, stand it up. Bring your chair in front of you with the seat facing you. Make sure that all four legs of the chair are on the ground, on the mat. <laughs> of course they're on the ground, but on the mat. Just so that it's not going to slip slide on you. Standing about a foot away from your chair, coming into mountain, palms face forward. Inhale, reaching out and up. Palms touch, exhale, bowing your hands and your head bow down to the seat. Inhale, flat back, your hands can press into the seat as you gaze forward. Exhale, folding. Inhale, sitting down into your imaginary chair as you come three quarters of the way up with cactus arms. Exhale, you might sit a tiny bit deeper. Beautiful, inhale, shoot to standing, palms touch. Exhale, mountain. Inhale, reaching out and up. And your breath might be a little slower or faster than mine. Feel free to go at your own pace, exhale, bowing. Inhale, press into the seat, gazing forward. Can your spine get longer? Exhale, keep this length as you fold. Inhale, sitting down as you reach into cactus. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Inhale, reaching up, palms touch. Exhale, release mountain. Let's add to it this time. Inhale, reaching out and up. Exhale, bowing. Inhale, flat back. And this time we'll walk the feet back into downward facing dog. Heart melts. Your sitting bones are reaching back over your heels. Shoulders are relaxing. Fingers are wide or holding the edge of the chair. Your breath is steady. Stay here or on an inhale, glide the heart over the hands in plank pose. You can come back into downward dog or let your hips sink towards the chair as you lift the heart in cobra, up dog. And let's all meet back in downward dog. Good. On an inhale, gazing forward, walk it up. Exhale, folding. 
Inhale, sitting down as you bring the arms into cactus. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Inhale, shoot to standing, palms touch. Exhale, mountain. Good, inhale, reaching out and up. Exhale, folding. Inhale, gazing forward, flat back. Exhale, walk it back, downward dog. Adding a little bit more this time. Inhale into plank. Exhale, you can go back into down dog or let the hips come towards the chair. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, down dog if you're not already there. Take your left heel, the heel of your left foot and draw it a little bit towards your right foot. So your left foot is sticking out at a 45 degree angle. Lean onto your left foot and step your right foot up to the chair, bending the front knee. Inhale, come up onto the fingertips, or you can even tuck the tailbone, reach the arms all the way up to the sky. And if having the arms up is not comfortable for you, just have the palms together at the heart. Either way, we're in warrior one. Good, one inhale, gaze it up. One exhale, sweep the arms back like airplane wings. One more inhale, gazing up, palms come together or reach up. Exhale, bring the hands down, downward dog, step it back. Take your right heel and draw it towards the left foot. Step your left foot up to the chair, bending into the front knee. Come up onto the fingertips or tuck the tailbone, reach the arms all the way up or bring the hands to the heart. Either way, sinking into the feet. On your inhale, gaze it up. You're just looking up towards the sky a little bit. Exhale, sweep the arms back like airplane wings. Good, one more inhale, reach and gaze up. Exhale, all the way back into downward dog. Really let your spine lengthen here. See if your heart can sag and melt a little bit more. This actually ends up being a heart opener because a little back bend is happening here. Good, and can you let your head and your neck go a little bit more? Imagine someone is like rubbing the back of your neck. Inhale to gaze forward and walk it up. Exhale, folding. Inhale, Utkatasana, sitting down into imaginary chair with cactus arms. Exhale, sit a little deeper. Inhale, reach it up, palms touch. Exhale, let it go. We'll do this one more time, but we'll add our positive affirmation, our sankalpa, and we'll flow a little bit more quickly through the warrior sequence. So on your inhale, repeating your sankalpa. On your exhale, repeating your sankalpa, folding. Inhale. 
Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog or up dog. Everyone in down dog now. Draw the left heel to the right foot, step the right foot up, bending into that front knee. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, airplane wings. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, downward dog. Right heel comes towards the left foot. Step the left foot up, bending into the front knee. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, airplane wings. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, down dog. Repeating your sun culpa. Inhale to walk it up. Exhale, bowing. Inhale, Ukatasana. Exhale, deepen it. Inhale, shoot to standing. Exhale, mountain. Let your eyes rest on one point. Let the breath go. Let all effort go for a moment and just notice. Notice how the body feels and how the space around the body feels. Stepping the feet shoulder width apart and you can step back from your chair. You can either place the backs of the hands on the low back or if it's comfortable interlace your hands together and then bend the knees a little bit and fold which is deepening one of our previous exercises. And just breathe into this, opening through the shoulders. You can wiggle around with it as you fold. Let your head go, nod the head yes. Shake it no. Good, and when you're ready, you can roll it up. and release. Uh, just glide those shoulders in a couple more circles. And if there's any other little stretch or pose that your body is asking for, you can do that now before coming into Shavasana. So if you're ready, you can come back into your chair, sitting down or lying down on the floor for full Shavasana, whichever you prefer for your resting pose. And just give yourself a little bit of time. Give yourself a minute if you want to hug the knees into the chest or you want a little movement before you completely relax. 
If you're sitting in the chair for a resting pose today, you're welcome to take a pillow and just place it between your back and the chair so you can really relax here. Anything that you need. And for a good few minutes, I'm going to talk to you and help you deepen your body awareness and your relaxation. And you're welcome to completely tune me out or you can follow my voice and then we'll rest in silence for a little bit longer. Let's begin by noticing the right ear. Noticing the whole right ear and any sounds that might be touching the ear. Noticing the inner ear the inside of the right ear. And shifting your awareness over to the left ear now. Noticing this whole left ear. Being aware of the feeling of sounds touching the left ear. Noticing the inner cavity of the left ear. And becoming aware of both ears together. Noticing the space in between the ears. Noticing all of your hair. Noticing the right eyebrow. The left eyebrow. The point in between the eyebrows. the right nostril, left nostril, both nostrils together. Scanning the upper lip, lower lip. Noticing the bottom row of teeth, the upper row of teeth. Noticing all of the gums, the tongue. Become aware of the aliveness of the mouth the energy in the mouth. And draw your awareness to your right eyelid. Relaxing the right eyeball. Relaxing the space behind the right eye, letting it deepen. Noticing the left eyelid. Relaxing the left eyeball. 
and softening the space behind the eye, letting it deepen. Relaxing both eyes together. Noticing the right shoulder down to the elbow, down to the wrist, palm of the hand. thumb, pointer finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky, noticing the left shoulder and down to the elbow. And down to the wrist. Palm of the hand. Thumb. Pointer finger. Middle finger. ring finger, pinky finger. Noticing the right hip, down the thigh to the knee. down to the ankle, down the foot, down all the toes to the tips of the toes. Notice the very tips of the toes. Noticing the left hip. And down the thigh to the knee. And down to the ankle. Left foot. through the toes to the tips of the toes. Notice the very tips of the toes. And becoming aware of the whole right side of your body from the top of the head to the tips of the right toes. This whole right side. And floating your awareness to the left side from the top of the head to the very tips of the left toes. Notice this whole left side.
And notice both sides together. the right and the left merging as one, noticing your whole body from the crown of the head to the tips of the toes.
begin to ever so slightly deepen your breath. And just imagine that your fingers are wiggling. And notice the energy that comes from just imagining that. Imagine that your toes are wiggling. And then physically move them around. And if you'd like, you can stretch the arms up over the head. And if you're laying down, you can roll onto one side. And just slowly make your way back to seated, either in the chair or on the floor. Let's bring the palms together at the heart. And mentally repeating your sankalpa three more times. And then letting the hands open in front of you and offering your sankalpa to all. So may all be in whatever your word was. Bringing the hands back to the heart. We honor this ability to show up, this ability to practice together. The light within me bows to the light within you. We say together, namaste. Namaste.